Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Finding your iPhone just about to die due to low power, you plug in the device for charging. But the moment you connect the device to a charging accessory, this accessory may not be supported error pops up on your iPhone, bringing the charging process to a halt. And that's what has led you to explore the reliable ways to fix this accessory may not be supported in the iPhone issue. If the aforementioned explanation echoes with the situation you are in, I have got you covered with a workable solutions to resolve the problem. As they have worked for most users, I'm pretty sure they can get the job done for you as well. So let's cut the chase without any more ado. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. The very first thing that you should do is to clean up the gunk or smudge that may have snicked inside and may be preventing the charging accessory from making a solid connection. So ensure that the lightning port is clean. You can use compressed air or a toothpick to clean the lightning port of your iPhone. Make sure to do it carefully ensuring you don't damage the port in trying to get rid of the lint. Another thing worth taking note of is to ensure that the charging accessory is MFI certified. For those unfamiliar, MFI means made for iPhone or iPad. If you are using an uncertified charger, chances are pretty high that the problem could be due to it. You can get an MFI certified iPhone charger at around $15 to $20 on Amazon or Flipkart or even Walmart. Both in terms of security and efficiency, a certified charger is a better option so you shouldn't compromise with it. The accessory may not be supported air on the iOS device is also found to appear due to damage to the charging accessory. So you should ensure that the charging cable or the power adapter is in good condition to charge the iPhone. If the accessory may not be supported message is still popping up on your iPhone, try to restart the device. More often than not, a simple reboot can let you fix random glitches. Thus, do not fail to give it a try as well. To restart your iPhone 10, 11 or iPhone 12, all you have to do is press and hold either the volume button and the side button. Then you have to drag the power off slider to shut down the device. After that you have to hold down the side button to restart your device. To restart your iPhone SE2, iPhone 8 or earlier, you have to press and hold the sleep wake button and then drag the power off slider to shut down the device. After that you have to press and hold the sleep wake button to restart the device. If the problem still persists, it might be due to a software bug and in this scenario, the software update is always the right way to go. With every new update, Apple releases a number of bug fixes and performance enhancements to improve the overall experience of the iPhone. Therefore, head over to the settings app, then tap on general, then tap on software update, then download and install the latest iteration of iOS on your device as usual. That ends our guide about sorting out the accessory may be unsupported air. Hopefully you have got the better of this issue and your iPhone has started to charge as usual. In most cases this error appears due to an uncertified charger. Therefore charging the device with an MFI certified charger can fix this issue in most cases. Apart from the faulty charger, dust, lint or physical damage to the charging accessory is also equally responsible for the issue. As for the software bug, it's quite rare, though we should never rule out the possibility of the software bug as well since it has been the record in chief behind several major iOS issues in recent times. Have any feedback, make sure to share it with me and I'll see you in the next video with more troubleshooting guides and hacks. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.